beautiful day like absolutely gorgeous um today i'm going on a hack with izzy and fluffy um they're another uh, rider and pony at the yard um i go out with izzy probably the most often out of anyone at the yard we i kind of go to social and pleasure rides with her on on tizzy um we have we have good fun we have a good laugh um fluffy is do you know what i think he's a connemara i'm not sure i'll update you on that um, and obviously the Arabs are quite fast so not many people will come with us on a hack but Fluffy he loves it I think as he loves it we'll ask her later so I'm just gonna pack now and I might show you what I pack when I go kind of box out from the yard in the lorry hopefully we have a slightly better travel time and tack up time than we did the other day <laughs> so this is my little section of the tack room I really want to have a bit of a spring clean in here we've got um, Aziz's bridal, Tizzy's, Qantas's, the one he's borrowing, and I've got my three saddles at the back, and then I've got kind of my lunging training aid stuff, and I've got a couple of boxes with spares and stuff up there. Um, I put towels over everything because we get birds that nest up there and they poop over everything, um, so it's nice and easy. Um, just to pop towels on rather than individual um, saddle covers and it keeps them nice and clean. Um, I've got kind of my spare numbers and stuff here and all my high vis. Yeah, so let's pack, let's, Qantas saddle is here. I also put like a little hand towel on top of the saddle and then the girth goes on top of that. Unconventional, but it works for me. Um, so I've just picked up my lightweight high vis. Gonna get Qantas's tack and put it in the lorry. I'd just say my helmet, my competition helmet I keep um, in the lorry, but my helmets I attach to the bottom and they have gloves in. Once the tack is in, um, I get everything I need to kind of put on just before I leave. So my riding boots, my bum bag, and then Qantas stuff. So his boots, a tail guard, and um, a rug. He's not good enough yet with the travel boots for me to be comfortable traveling him in them, especially as he's still not 100% kind of well behaved at traveling. He doesn't kick the lorry at all. Um, he just rears a <laughs> lot. And, and makes a lot of noise as in whinnying um, so I guess that it's good he doesn't kick out so he's, he's less likely to injure himself um, and once I've kind of got all that ready I go and grab my horse get them ready load on um, in the lorry now I've just put a bucket a lidded bucket of water with aquaraid in it's like an electrolyte and another lidded bucket with a sweat scraper and a sponge and the ice boots in I've also packed the massage pad, so I would normally cool them down, um, put the ice boots on, um, massage pad over the top of the rug and then load them and they have that on whilst they travel back. Um, I'm still not sure Qantas is ready for that, it depends if he's more laid back today. I've got it with me if he is, if not I'll do it when we get back. I've also, it's always in the lorry anyway, but today, unless I forget, I've got the worst memory ever. Um, I've had a few head injuries a couple of years ago got whacked in the head by Z's and my recall of appropriate words has been quite bad ever since. Um, but I've got my heart rate monitor and stethoscope in the lorry at all times anyway, but today um, I'd like to pop it on to see what his natural recovery is like. Haven't really done that much of that with him yet because he hasn't had to work particularly hard yet. So that'll be interesting, kind of see where he's at, see where our baseline is, work up from there. Pre-ride, snack and hydration. I apologise for my bit 
sniffly today, but that's really annoying me going all the time. Um, I actually have hay fever, and ironically, and annoyingly, I'm allergic to horses, <laughs> which is really funny. If ever I get a new horse, or I like handle someone else's horse in the yard, I get like really streamy eyes and a rash on my arm. I get used to my own and it's okay. There's Fluffy, waiting for Izzy to come. Are you excited, Fluffy? Going on an adventure with Qantas today. Have you been out with Qantas? I don't think you have. Hopefully you get on, hey? We're going somewhere you haven't been before. Is that good? Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. Exciting. I know, last time I rode out with you was Canuck Chase. Pre-pandemic. <laughs> You're so cute. I've got cue ball. Izzy has arrived, taking Fluffy up. Come on, Kay. Do you do you not want to go today? <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Someone wanted to stay in munch grass. Because of two metre rules, we won't be going together, so Izzy is obviously too young to drive, so her mum will be bringing her. She's like the coolest mum on the yard. And funnily, my mum will definitely laugh at this. It really makes you realise how much your mum did for you as a teenager. Hey. Makes you realise like the hours of driving horses everywhere, trailering us to events and selection days, training weekends like without ever complaining and without much thanks to be honest because quite frankly teenage girls are vile and I was no exception oh boy <laughs> morning Izzy good morning are you excited I'm very excited yeah um I just told the camera that Fluffy is a Connemara am I right yes yay <laughs> you do not die off of that oh it's don't record me during this I haven't done this properly for ages I think I've done a tail vanish for a long time. Oh, look, it's nice and clean. You're so beautiful. Oh, wash your equipment. I mean, I don't. <laughs> Good boy. This horse is an absolute pleasure to train. He just traveled beautifully. He was so relaxed, he even ate the hard feed that I'd put in there for him. Didn't whinny didn't move, is stood on the back, munching away. So, so proud, he's such a quick learner. Um, I've just parked in the shade because it's super hot today, that would be kind of one of my top tips. Um, if you know how long your ride is going to be, and roughly where the shade will be when you get back, park there. We're riding a hat! Yay! Company!
wow Qantas. No sloshing. Trotted straight in. 55 beats per minute. Straight into the vet gate, that would be. Qantas loaded straight back on. But no problem. Did the good as gold. So proud of you. Well done. And his heart rate was so good. After like giving him a light slosh, so we've been in two minutes and it's about 23 degrees. It was 48, so I'm super pleased with this recovery time. You're a good boy today, huh? Got your massage pad on. Got your ice boots on. I look absolutely pooped, cream crackered, very tired, flimsy and floppy. Um, I had a wonderful ride on Qantas this morning and a wonderful ride on Rosie this afternoon with a, a couple of fall offs, not Qantas, Rosie. Um, and now we're going to go home, have a bath, go to bed, go to work tomorrow. Um, hopefully a little better than this. <laughs>